Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at showing you how to install these Glacier Cable Snow tire chains on a 2023 Chevrolet Suburban. These are going to be on the tire size 265, 65, 18, but always make sure that you check the fit guide at eTrailer when you're picking out chains to make sure you have the right ones for you. Additionally, we have these on our rear axle in our case as per the owner's manual, but again, you want to double check and make sure that you're putting the chains on the right tire. These chains will be good for you if you live in an area that doesn't get a ton of inclement weather. These are sort of an emergency case only set of chains. They don't get a ton of bite and grip into snow and ice. So again, if you're going to use them maybe every once in a while, these could be a good option. They do have a ladder pattern style, which means that the cables do run straight across our tire. They don't get you as much coverage as a diamond pattern, but they help a little bit more with starting and stopping. Something traditionally with ladder pattern style chains that they're a little bit bumpier, but because they do have these rollers instead of your traditional links, they're going to be a little bit smoother than those would be when you're driving. The chains are made of a low carbon steel, so they're not going to hold up quite as long as some alloy chains might. They're going to be probably a little bit more prone to rust and corrosion, and they're not going to last as many seasons, but they are low profile and that will get you that class S clearance if that wheel well issue is something that you're running into in our case. It's not, but if it is important to you, they do meet that standard. The chains come two to a set in this lightweight canvas bag. There's some side that features some instructions and a few more of these red plastic hooks if you end up breaking those. But the bag overall isn't my favorite and it's not the most durable and roller chains are especially difficult typically to actually roll back up and fit back into these bags. So if you do go with these chains, we recommend picking up some kind of plastic tote to keep them in, not only to keep them safe, secure, but also just to make it easier to roll them up and keep them there. As far as the installation goes, it's not terribly difficult. You will have to get under and around your car or the tire of your car to get them on. We always recommend practicing it in your garage beforehand if you get the chance so that you have a good idea of what you're doing before you get stranded on the side of the road trying to figure it out you can check out how we installed them right now. First thing we like to do is lay the chains out flat, just making sure that nothing is caught up or tangled or twisted together. We wanna to make sure that this lever is on the side facing us, because we'll have to use that later, and we wanna make sure the chains are facing the right direction. You do that by looking at these connectors at the end of each set of cables. So you'll notice on the side facing us right now, there's this hooked end where they actually wrap around we want to make sure that, that part is not making contact with the tire. Rather, we want this flat side on the other end. It's flat all the way through. We want that side touching the tread so it won't scratch it up while we're driving. Once we know where everything is and where it's going, we can start by grabbing a couple of these towards the end and draping the chains around our tire. Just doing our best to make sure that everything is centered, not only in the front to back here, but also side to side. That'll make our lives easier when we need to make our first connection on the back side. We'll take these studs at the end of this set here, fit them through this catch plate on the other side. Depending on the tire size, you'll get more or less potentially, but I'm gonna go to, um, we'll try to go to the third one in our case here. We can come back and adjust this after we make the connection on the front if we need to. That's where that lever arm comes into play. Again, just fitting these studs through this catch plate, trying to get them as taut as possible. So we'll go for the third one in our case. And you lever this arm backwards and connect it on the other side. So right now, the chains are technically installed. You can see there's going to be a little bit of movement. We can only get so much tension out of the studs and the lever. So we always recommend picking up one of these rubber tensioners here at eTrailer, making sure that you get the hook side out You'll install them similarly to how you would put a tire on or take it off. Just following sort of a star shape pattern going from top to bottom and then left to right. It's just going to be a really good way to keep the chain stationary or not stationary rather. They're going to move a little bit but this will help adjust them as you move down the road and they shift. Once you have the tensioner on, get the chain installed on your passenger side tire as well. Roll forward and backwards a few times just to make sure that everything is secure and then you're ready to go. Again, these chains will be a good option for you if you do live in an area that gets snow maybe just every once in a while. 
You need change as a just-in-case measure to make sure that you have something in the event that you need them. The low-carbon steel is something that's not going to last super long, so if you want something with an alloy, you can maybe check out one of Koenig's self-tensioning or assisted tensioning diamond powder chains. They get you more coverage and more longevity, but if you're looking for something low profile, that'll get the job done in emergency case only. These Glacier Snow Cable Tire Chains are a good option and a good fit on our 2023 Chevrolet Suburban.